Well, now we're at the end of fall camp, and hopefully the players that were able to participate and be a part of it are a little bit better now than when we showed up a month ago. That's the goal, and hopefully the players saw it that way, and they'll take a little piece of what they've learned and be able to come back to spring training and start their baseball careers from that point on. 2020's been 2020. But once, once they got started, I think, in the summer camp and they got rolling and things became kind of somewhat normal as far as the batting practice and the inter-squad games. And as we kept going along, you know, you could see that it's starting to develop. And I was just thankful that we at least got 60 games in this year. It was different, but then again, it was at least we got to get on the field and get something out of it this year and not just a complete wash. Yeah, good. Good job. I mean, for me personally, I'm, I'm more of a people person face to face, one on one. In this environment where it's more like an instructional league environment, you know, you want to take specific things that guys need to work on and get better at. With Eric Pena, you know, he, he's been to one instructional league and he's really never played at a competitive level yet. But when you get to talk to him and you get to show him certain things that he can clean up or do different or do better, it really makes you break things down so that it's gonna help me next year with throwing motions, mechanics of a bunt, base dealing situations, all that kind of stuff that you get to work with guys. Well, when you break it down so much here, it really makes you a better coach up there. The group that's here in Kaufman, you know, they're, they're your upper upper tier guys that are probably gonna be in double A AA and triple A this, this coming year. Every game out here is like an all-star game because every time they look to their left and their right, there's a guy equally as good if not better than they are, and they got to find a way to compete. You, you can't describe competition, you know, I mean, it, it's just there. And either you find a way to compete or you just fold and take it back to the house. As the players go, you hope they can take a little information that, that's been given to them and process it and continue to put it in their little portfolio and progress, you know, through the system. You know, you take a little bit here and a little bit there and you make it a part of your own little program and, and you develop through it. But the biggest thing is I, I hope that they understand how much competition there is at this level in pro ball. And every level that you go up, you know, you start in rookie ball to A ball to double A to triple A to the big leagues. You know, you're not only competing against another team, you're also competing and trying to be the best teammate you can be, but you're looking around and you're saying to yourself, okay, for me to elevate through the system, I'm gonna have to be the best I can be at what I do. Hopefully it works out next year where we're in a better place than we are, you know, this year. And because to tell you the truth, to sit upstairs and watch things going on and not being a part of it, it, it wasn't easy to do this year. So I'm hoping that I can get back on the field and, and, and hopefully help, help players become better.